They say a rose is a rose is a rose, but that's not quite true. There are long stem roses for picking, there are bush roses, climbing roses, and then, ah, oh, there are perfume roses. I caught up with Botanic Gardens curator, Andy Hart, to sniff out what's new and refresh my memory of some favourites. So Andy, it's a magnificent garden. How many roses would you have here? All up as a round figure, Michael, or around 4,000 uh, roses that we look after. Mm. Yeah. Big job? Yeah, never ending, <laughs> like the Sydney Harbour Bridge. <laughs> Many traditional roses hail from the Northern Hemisphere. New varieties, however, are often grown here in the Rose Trial Garden, the first of its kind in Australia. Here, Michael, have a smell of this one, see what you think. I reckon it shows great potential. Oh, Andy, that's got that old-fashioned perfume, hasn't it? And it looks as though it's going to be beauty buds everywhere, so it's going to be a very good performer. Hopefully. And um, that's the idea of the trial garden, is to see how the roses grow in our conditions, mm. how they turn out. Now, with so many roses to choose from, how do you go about it? Well, I reckon you choose colour first. So here's my top ten for colour, form and fragrance. First, the quintessential deep red rose, Mr Lincoln. It's tough, reliable, with an exquisite fragrance that makes it the most requested rose in the world. A florist favourite. Now, if you like pink, I've got two for the price of one. Sweet intoxication. It starts out as a hot pink bud, and then over age, it mellows into this beautiful light violet colour. It's a stunner. A lighter pink is the multi-award winning Eiffel Tower. Long stem and high pointy buds make it a perfect cut flower with fragrance. And for versatility, Crepus Girl is a winner, either as a standard or a climber, and the perfume is magnificent. White roses generally find it hard to compete with the rest when it comes to perfume, but in my garden, I've planted the charity rose Pope John II, our Rose of the Year in 2010. And this hybrid tea rose has up to 50 petals and an almost citrus fragrance. Another charity rose is Fiona's Wish, named after heart patient Fiona Coot. Its strong cherry red petals contrast beautifully with yellow underneath. You know, jewel roses really do catch the eye and the nose. And this, Double Delight, is one of the most popular hybrid tea roses in the world. Prolific on the bush, its repeat flowering means that you're rarely without blooms. Other roses, in fact, are measured against the rich, spicy perfume from this truly stunning flower. And if you like things just peachy, how spectacular is Just Joey? A huge flower, sweetly scented, and rated one of the best roses in the world. Well, that's my list, but in the magazine this month, I've asked some of the state's leading rosarians to provide theirs. So, plenty of inspiration to spice up your garden. Now, I hope you've picked out what you like, because in South Australia, this is the perfect time to plant out your roses. So, into the nursery, choose what you want, and get them in your garden well before summer.